Hello loves, welcome back to yet another video. This is a video on how I made this gorgeous turtleneck poncho I've been feeling lately. So stay tuned for more details. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Snapchat to see behind the scenes and more photos. So I started off with using um, two meters and 2.2 yards of fabric and I'm just going across and measuring 5 inches. That's the width from my uh, wrist to my wrist and that's how big I wanted the poncho. I really wanted a large one. Um, so I'm also cutting off the selvage because um, <clears throat> with the selvage it's about 6 inches across and um or sorry 60 and it was obviously too much i need like the salvage off it's ugly <laughs> now i'm gonna lay the fabric out because i want to accomplish a square um in order to do so i wanted it 58 inches by 58 inches i folded it in half just so it's easier to deal with i don't have a cutting station so this is just easier like oh a cutting station that's big enough for this um so basically i laid it so that it's 29 inches um yeah, half of 58. <laughs> I'm marking that to make sure on both sides it's gonna equal about 28, or sorry, 29 inches. Let me rephrase that, 29 inches. And I'm just cutting to mark each side. And then really I'm just gonna go all the way across this fabric and cut. Um, just the easier method because I don't have a cutting mat underneath. I couldn't use my rotary cutter. So I'm just kind of marking and um, uh, cutting as I go with my scissors. So the reason I really wanted to create a square was to make sure that I could wear the poncho two ways um, with the pointed part in the middle of my body and then also just kind of straight across kind of like the sweater poncho look. Um, yeah, I just wanted a diverse look but I only want to make this once so obviously I was going to go with what was easier. So yeah, I'm just continuing to mark and cut as I go just to make sure it's as straight as possible and as clean as possible. So the reason I wanted as clean as possible is because I really wanted raw edges for this poncho but that didn't really work out after wearing it for a day so I'm going to go back and do like hems later in life, whatever. <laughs> um, so here I'm working with a turtleneck. I decided I wanted 22 inches high and then 28 inches circular for the hole in the poncho um, and I'm just cutting this out I am not cutting on wood with my rotary cutter I'm just at, like doing a little trace line as you can see that would be insane and totally irresponsible <laughs> so please don't do that if you're watching this um, and I'm just gonna go with scissors and just cut so for the turtleneck I chose 22 inches because I did want the turtleneck to fold over and I wanted it to be extra snug and extra warm you can pick any height you really do want for your turtleneck that's just what was ideal for me that I really did like um, it ended up being quite bulky but I was so warm that and it was cold out and it was just so perfect um, so as you can tell it'll be 11 inches high and then you'll fold it over and you just want to be able to sew in those areas just shown there so this is the point where your math kind of comes into play um, so basically I'm marking uh, from the edges of the fabric um, so I can get the circumference, so I can get a good circle. And basically my circle radius is 3 and 7 8 inches. And I'm just going to keep marking that along because I couldn't find my wax thing. I'm using a highlighter. Um, and I'm just going to do it. Do it as precisely as possible because you want to get a perfect circle. If it does not fit the 28 inches, you're going you're gonna to be screwed in. I, I kind of messed that up earlier, um, but it was it turned out okay anyways. So here I'm, I'm cutting really precisely in order to make sure I don't mess up. The littlest mess up can just mess you up by like an inch and then your turtleneck won't fit. So uh, just be really careful when you're doing it. Obviously this is sped up so take your time. Um, so that's basically the poncho hole and this is the turtleneck. So when I uh, sew the seams together and the bottom, this is what it will look like. And I used a half inch seam allowance going all the way up and at the bottom there I just base stitched I just wanted it closed so it's easier to sew the hole I'm not dealing with like three different fabrics I'm just dealing with or layers of fabric I'm just dealing with the turtleneck onto the poncho so at this point this is what it'll look like when it's sewn obviously you guys know I don't have a serger I'm trying to get on that so it'll look a lot cleaner if you serge it but that's a turtleneck and this is the poncho bottom and this is what it looks like on. I just paired it with these gorgeous gloves I got off eBay. Jenny with Mother 2. I'll leave a link below. And my really cute bag. And I look like a rich gal. Thanks guys so much for watching. I'll check you in another video. Bye.